welcome to this week's video devotion. That's right, it's the last week we're going to be talking about Cultivate as we study through the book of Proverbs and Psalms. Uh, we are back on campus, many of us today, the rest of us tomorrow. We're loving it. Campus is booming. It's exciting. Um, and as we wrap up this study here, I, I want to share just a tidbit about my summer. I have had just a wonderful summer packed full of traveling with family, trips, been to, I think, two state parks, one national park. Uh, we did like a all-day hike in the Smoky Mountains. Uh, that was awesome. We have spent a week at a lake. We, uh, my family, some of us went to St. Louis, some of us went to camp. Uh, we have had just a great time visiting friends, um, seeing um, alumni along the way, and enjoying each other, really. It, it's been awesome. And uh, ready, you think I'm ready to get back at school, to get back on campus, to, and uh, it's been, been great. But as we look at this study here, as I read, and I just want to look at Psalms 149 and 150, I see the word gratefulness just come to the surface. Oh, that word's not in there. But that's what I read when I read through here uh, what the psalmist is saying for me, a grateful heart. But let me just read the first six verses of Psalm 149. And it says here, it says, Praise the Lord. Sing to the Lord a new song with praises in the assembly of the saints. Let Israel rejoice in their maker. Let the people of Zion be glad in their king. Let them praise his name with dancing and make music to him with tambourines and harp. For the Lord takes delight in his people. He crowns the humble with salvation. Let the saints rejoice in this honor and sing for joy on their bed. May the praises of God be in their mouths. And I see here over and over again, I was really drawn this, this even this line here in verse 5, sing for joy on their beds. Like this idea of when you lay down at night and you're thinking about your day, you're praising God. You're like so grateful because you have witnessed, you saw God at work. You saw the blessings that he has put together for you in that day. You saw his handiwork and you're just grateful. Like, that's the word that comes to mind. You are thankful and you are expressing gratitude to God for what he has done. Isn't that phenomenal? I mean, and in, in, in add to that, if we flip over to the next chapter, the last psalm that was written, the last verse in Psalms, we see that it says, let everything that has breath Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Man, let everything that has breath, you and me, like if there's something that we're about, it's praising the Lord. Now that can be in songs, absolutely. It can be in journaling and writing. It can be in prayer. It can be just a spirit that we have. That as we're walking through our day, I see God's hand and I see my life, and I recognize these good things that God puts along the way for me. Man, as I, as I look at my summer, I go, man, there's so many things I'm grateful for. I, I mean, I, I, I am, I'm grateful for my time with my family. I'm, I'm grateful for the trips that we had, for the adventures that we shared together, the memories we made. Um, I'm grateful for the ways in which my family love being together and interacting together. And I see God at work in my kids and I'm grateful for that. They know the Lord and they're walking with them. Like that is so cool. I, I'm grateful for CCH. I'm grateful for the staff. I'm grateful for the staff's family. 
I'm grateful for you, the students. I'm grateful for trying that we get to minister on this campus and be used by God in awesome ways. I'm grateful for my own salvation. I think back, and maybe you can too, to when you came to know Jesus as your Savior, when he reached down and kind of brought you out of the muck of your sin, and he gave you a new life as you said yes to being a part of the kingdom of God. And then the gift that he gave you and the gift of the Holy Spirit and the forgiveness of sin. And he made you his. You're a child of God. And, and you go, thank you. I, I mean, I am not the same person I am now that I was years ago when I said yes to Jesus. I'm a different person. I'm a better person. I say, thank you, God. You are good. So let me ask you the question. What are you grateful for? Like, like really, like today, what have you been grateful for? Where have you seen blessings in your life? And you can go, you know what? That's not coincidence. That's the handiwork of God. Or you think of just the... The normal things of just like even being able to come to try and be a student here and go, I'm so grateful that I have this opportunity. Both I had the upbringing, both I was born where I was and the family I was and had the schooling that I did, that I could afford and I could be here to get an education. Wow, I'm grateful. I'm grateful for whatever, my roommates, for this conversation I had. Where where do you see God at work today? Where can you then go, God, thank you. Thank you. You're awesome. And I am so grateful to be your child. And then if you just think about over the last weeks, months, what can you be grateful for? What can you say, thank you? See this spirit of gratitude? Oh, Oh, it totally defeats and wipes out pride, selfish ambition, selfishness. All of those things look to me. It makes me the center of my world. But gratitude causes me to see, you know what? There are others around me and there's a God who loves me. That is that has has his hand over my life at work in my life. Doesn't mean everything's perfect. No, 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 not at all. I mean, we could flip to James if we wanted to and and say we should be grateful for trials too, but we won't even go there. But life's not perfect. But in the moments that we can say in the simple little things, God, you're good. And here's where I see you at work. It makes my relationship personal, it makes God real. It makes me live out his purposes in my life. That's Psalm 149, 150. I'm excited you've been tuning in all summer long. We uh, are all as a staff excited to see you back on campus, to hear how you uh, have been and how your summer's been and uh, to begin to really step back into living life together here. God bless, and we'll see you soon.